there's, there's definite evidence out there that the housing cycle has rolled, approval rates are falling. So those stocks that are exposed to the housing cycle will no doubt be the concern for uh, us in the market. We don't have any exposure to those, nor do we have any exposure to the retailers that often leverage off those um, housing stocks. They leverage off them in two ways, in terms of um, house builds and formations. A lot of demand for, in, in a retailer sense, for furniture, uh, brown goods, electrical goods, they will battle if um, there's less formations of houses. So, or secondly, in the value sense, as house prices starting to fall or flatten, there is a wealth effect. People feel less wealthy, less well off. That's the single largest asset in most cases. And if they're feeling less wealthy, they'll spend less and it's confidence. And those, those factors will certainly have an impact, not just on those companies, but on the overall economy. And it's one of the challenges we face as an economy over the next couple of years. So you might look at a, uh, those building material stocks that are trading on PEs of 14 or 15 times next year's earnings, which in a historical sense doesn't look such a bad entry point. The problem you have is that those earnings are probably going to fall, and so your real PE ratio is 17 or 18 times in a couple of years' time, and so that share price won't be able to withstand that. It'll fall over the next period of time if, if they'll be on the housing cycle plays out.